I knew it before and I knew it at this point too that it's not gonna work but out of frustration I'm like oh it's good I'm gonna do it again like it's it's possible and I do another jump How long have you been thinking about your five hits? Like, it wasn't just an overnight thought. I don't know. Like, <laughs> something is like in the head, like 10 years, like just an idea that starts. So, when you guys talk about it, it's like, is, is there like the what if factor? It's or, like how it might be like possible. Like, yeah. What's the setup? What's the, what do we need to do to actually make it? Yeah. And then we just like try to talk about every risk about it and every setup that is that's needed to make it possible yeah so we are still hanging out in uh, Riksgränsen to find this fourth jump an alley-oop it's a jump when you are coming up in like a half pipe looking wind lip and say you jump and going to the left you want to rotate in the opposite direction and then come back down in the same slope <laughs> as you took off I seen this uh, in BMX and skateboard and I found the inspiration from there and I want to try to bring this into the snowmobiling. We've been close to it doing whips and stuff but I never seen it clean like a proper alley -oop. To make it easier to find the perfect spot we are taking the helicopter to scout. The jump I'm looking for now is a wall going almost straight up. The reason I need the, the wall to be this steep is that when I go up I don't want to travel forward. I want to come up and come back down in the same spot. The biggest no-go is that you build it too steep. Because if it's too steep, it will throw me back out and when I'm coming back down, I won't get to the transfer. I will actually be gonna fall out from the hill and that can't happen. So we found a spot I felt happy with and went out there to do the shoveling and shovel for a couple hours to make it uh, perfect, to make a setup that I like. We have this beautiful evening to building this alley-oop jump. The setup looks good, we have some nice landing. It's like what you would want to have if you want to do a 180, a re-entry or 270 or anything. It's just a lot more steeper. <laughs> we have done all the shoveling, we have the jump is ready. It's late, it's close to midnight actually, and we are all ready to, to shoot and test this ramp. I know that to make this as big as I want it to be, I want a lot of speed, so I'm giving it hard, like I'm giving it a lot. As soon as I go up and hit the ramp, I feel that it's too flat actually. It's not popping the way I want it to be, and it's just ending up throwing me super high up in the air, traveling up the hill. I'm not coming back out to the transfer like I want to, so I would decide to just jump off the bail. It's actually working out quite well, even though it's a hard fall. This is a trick you don't really know until you try it. I think we can say that when it did the first try, uh, that was not it. I reshovel the jump. We try to shovel it steeper. We try to make it like I want it to be. And we give it another go. This time I'm giving it less gas. I, I don't have the same speed going up because I actually feel a bit insecure about the ramp. And I just make a crash, kind of wreck the sled a little bit, have plastic flying off it. And out of frustration, I'm like, oh, it's good. I'm going to do it again. Like, it's, it's possible. I do another jump. And it's even worse, like still being close, it's not close enough, it's still a big crash. The sled is taking a beating and at that point I just felt like this is, it's not working, like we should call it a night. It's not gonna happen today, even though we have the perfect weather, even though we have a good spot, I just felt that it's not working. We need to think about this and call it a night. It's pretty rad, like just the imagination that you have to put it to, like try to put it to work is... Unreal. Yeah. It is weird. Yeah. Tough day. One way to learn is by doing, and this is it. 
So yeah, I just felt that we need to go back, you know, just call it a day. So the next day we had a lot of wrenching to do, fixing that sled. After the failure, we needed to change something, so... I was thinking now that we're gonna swap my suspension over to a 146 sled that I have, an 850. And that's gonna make it easier to get the speed and traction. Two things that I felt like it might be a part of the solution to make it happen. So yeah, we spent that day wrenching. We, we do it all by ourselves up on the parking lot. We bring all the parts, bring all the tools up there because there's no workshop. And in this case too, I had one and a half sled with me. So we had to move a lot of the suspension from the one I was using the day before to the other sled. Now the only issue is that I forgot some parts at home. Mm -hmm. You know, this is how it usually is up there. We, we crash, we wreck things, we, we need to steal parts from another sled. Uh, some part doesn't fit. After this, we had a couple of days of just bad weather, uh, which we just spent <laughs> hanging out in the cabin, <laughs> playing cards. There's not much to do when the weather is that poor. Kind of just wait out the storm and just hope that we will get the sun back. We saw one opportunity in the forecast that we might get some sun in the afternoon one day. So we, we went out, like it's still snow and stormy and kind of shitty weather, but we still went up in the mountains just in case we get sun pushing through. And I found a spot I liked. I started shoveling that and some of the boys went to just and ride and have fun, you know. Everyone just wanted to burn some gas and have fun. Perfect weather today. Amazing. Nothing better than cold, hard wind in your face. It's like snow and rain. It's almost coming up. <laughs> I shoveled my jump for a couple hours, and at that time we actually had some sun. We got to that point where I, I was ready. I was just about to put my helmet on, and then the weather turned again. The snow came back. Yeah guys, I think we need to call this off. The weather is not going to be better. We need to get down. I'm not giving up on this. I'm going to come back next season to make it happen. 